Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Jay God. In today's video we're going to focus on a subscriber gameplay breakdown and this is somebody who is getting one of their first ever nukes. So we're going to break it down, kind of give you the tips and tricks and see on what you could take from it. And a lot of times what ends up happening is people are always asking me in the comments section, I keep going on 20 plus, I keep going on 25 plus, but I keep choking that nuclear. We're going to go ahead and kind of walk through what this player does once they get around that point. Obviously, they were successful in this moment, so we're going to go ahead and kind of break down the specific things that led to them being successful. Hopefully, you do enjoy the video. If you do, hit the like button, and if you like the content and want to find your way back, make sure you do subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into it. So it looks like they are using the KN-57, so we're going to be looking at see how they move uh, around the map. There's the countdown. They're going in. They got a suppressor on. Um, and then they're gonna go ahead and come around this outside. It looks like they're using recon Which is a good specialist if you're trying to go on streaks because it'll fill in those gaps between the UAVs Especially if your teammates aren't calling them in looks like this is hard point Typically if you're going for a nuke in objective game mode that means you're not really gonna be playing the objective You're gonna be baiting the objective which is perfectly fine. They had the acoustic sensor on they were a little late to turn around there if That player was a little bit better. They would have been able to take them out But luckily they were able to turn in time you can see there's someone over here with the sniper. You got to be aware of that. Guy is lagging his butt off. He jumped midair and he skipped through the air. They don't know he's there because he has a suppressor. So the suppressor is coming in handy here. He's very accurate with the shot, but he continues to take these people out, out of spawn. Looks like the spawn is all the way on the far side because the hill's about to rotate. And based off where his teammates are, you got to be aware of that. I wouldn't have wasted that there. You can see where all the enemies are. I guess that's a good spot so you can know that you can rush through it clearly. But as he comes around over here, you got to be aware that someone's sneaking around that did have ghosts. There's a couple people right here still. So he's looking at the teammates pushing through. He's baiting, waiting. He's waiting for his acoustic sensor to go off. And you can see the guy kind of at the edge and he's able to take him out. So, so far, he's on a pretty nice little streak here, even though we're barely starting into the match. I think he's on a six or a seven, uh, maybe a seven or an eight, uh, which is pretty early considering he hasn't been on the objective at all. The other nice thing about objective game modes in Black Ops 4 is it's five versus five. So you're a lot lower. Um, the, the risk of running into multiple people at once is a little bit lower. You can see how he's kind of just playing his life in this position, not really close to the objective. Uh, ideally, what you'd want to do is anchor one of the spawns because you can see that the guy is coming up over here on the minimap where the death skull is. But he's probably rotating up uh, to the hill and he's going to be sitting up top on a little fried rock area. Teammates pushing through, the other one's pushing through as well. Means the enemies could be coming through here, but likely most of the enemies are down on that lower side where that death skull is or around the village side. So he's just kind of waiting, playing slow, and this is what you need to do if you're trying to go for that first ever nuclear. I know a lot of times people cannot be patient and they can't get the nukes either. And what ends up happening is that they complain about not getting the nukes, but it really relies on being patient. Unfortunately, this is not the ideal play style for an objective game mode, but if someone is looking to get their first ever nuclear, obviously there's certain things that you gotta do that maybe you didn't want to do. So right here, this could, this was could have, could have been a little bit prevented. You can see the guy on the mini map. So right here, the teammates are on this little middle section here. They're coming up through. The OBJ is empty, but the OBJ is in the room. So that means that if that thing goes red for any instance, you know that an enemy is in there. 100% there's an enemy in there. So let's go ahead and watch the mini map. So you can see the guy. He's over here. He's crossing the bridge. But he's obviously hard siding the center of the screen. And then the guy came right through, and he kind of gets in a bad timing. His teammates are coming around, but they're a little bit late. They can't see him. The guy is on the objective, so you got to kind of back off, and then you can kind of rotate out. It happens pretty instantly. He could have stood there for a little bit. If he backed off, knowing that the guy was there, he could have challenged him as he came around, strafed out, and took the guy out. So, obviously a great start. Could have been a nuclear from that point because he already has 11 kills, no deaths, and no streak kills. So those were all there. He was a third the way there. And now he's just kind of playing a little bit aggro. That's not how he was playing in the beginning. He changed his strategy. He's trying to reclaim that area, but it's a little bit too aggressive. Nice sensor dart in this area because it includes the objective. He's coming through, trying to get some easy kills. 
because of the suppressor, he's off the minimap. He has the acoustic sensor, the guy's behind him. Teammates take that guy out, he takes the guy on the bridge. He's on another four or five streak right off the bat. So right here, if he played that a little bit more strategically when he died, he could already be on a 16. So that's something just to be aware of. Sometimes those things happen really instant, like very quick, and you just gotta be able to adjust. He re-engages these guys really nice. The enemy should uh, be down low or on the opposite side where they're popping up on the mini-map. You can see, you can hear the footsteps, guy going through the water. Now majority of the enemies should be in the hard point and you can see they're on it. So the spawn is gonna be pretty close on the outside, on that low side. So you gotta clear it out, be aware that people are coming through. Luckily he sneaks back around, he backs off. He doesn't have enough teammates to push this. He's kind of in a bad spot. Sniper's Nest will definitely help. Looks like somebody already called one in. Um, and then now he's able to push through the mid to go ahead and capture the objective. Good thing about City on this side of the map is there's a lot of teammates. He could play the clock. His teammates are down by like 70 points right now. So obviously the, the goal isn't to win, it's the goal is to get a nuke. Uh, but sometimes they go hand in hand. You can play smart, get into the right engagements, maintain that map control. But if you do it too well, then you can run out of time on your nuclear streak. I've had plenty nukes where I'm on a 27 streak but one of my teammates is on the objective for three minutes uh, out, out of the entire time. So now you've got to take advantage of that there's only four people in the lobby, probably one of the best people in the lobby left. Especially if you're winning and you leave the lobby, you're probably just trying to go for streaks. Right here, he's got to be a little bit sketchy. Hard point's one of those modes that if you're not playing the objective, it gets very sketchy really quick. You can see that the enemy is down over here on this side. All the teammates are over here and somebody is on the objective. You can see the gun right here, so he's going to be able to take that guy out. But there are people that are back flooding through this area. So whatever he does with this middle section, he needs to get the heck out of there really quick because he's going to be flooded by enemies. Get out of there. He has a gunship. He does have the vision pulse. Good time to do it because they all should be coming out of spawn. He should be able to take this guy out. There should be another one coming up. There's two. He's got to watch how he takes this. Takes that one. Comes out, jumps out aggressively, knowing the guy is, is on a 15 streak now. Probably getting still a little bit nervous because if you don't get nuclears, you probably get a little nervous at those ruthless streaks. Teammate took that one away, but it was a clean kill. And he didn't really get much out of it. He got two or three kills out of that recon because it's only a 5v5 game mode and there's only four people left. The Badion is going to call in this gunship, but I think he knows that he's on a streak. Probably going to wait till he dies before he calls in the gunship. It's one, two. The suppressor is coming in clutch in this mode right now. Either that or the enemies aren't calling in UAVs. Either way, he's been able to move around the map, get a ton of flanks, and get into engagements where they're already over before they started, if you know what I mean. They come through, able to take that guy out who's sniping. There's people up there. He tries to wall bang, just fires the weapon. Not a good spot. There is someone behind you, though, so you got to be aware of that. You're going to get pinched here. The guy should be coming through. Teammates are on this side. You got to watch out behind you. It should be coming through. He's just sitting in the corner over here. Free firing. You gotta watch out. This is risky. So I wouldn't necessarily push that. There's a lot of teammates there. It gets nine bang. Luckily, he's able to get out of the way and re engage in that gunfight. First ever relentless. So that's 10 relentlesses. So this one is somebody who's gone on the street quite often, but uh, they, they still weren't able to seal the deal. Go ahead and back out of that situation. It doesn't look like uh, you're in a good spot. He has another Cypher's Nest, and I'm thinking he's considering, do I call in that gunship or not? Because it's starting to cycle around. But imagine when you're getting that close to a streak, you don't want to call in your gunship and someone just walk up to you and kill you, especially with how wonky the spawns could be in hard point. So right here, he just pre-aiming, waiting for this guy to come through. You can see that this guy is sniping or whatever he's doing, trying to hit his teammate in here. And then he goes around the outside. He knows that someone's there. That was risky, but he was able to have the reaction time necessary to snap onto the guy. I was expecting the guy to be by the rock based off all the information, but as he came around, he was able to jump on and, and attack the guy, which was really good. I heard footsteps on the left, so there might be people up top to this left, yep. Or they're coming all the way around. So he's going around here, going to clear out the spawn so no one spawns on him. Uh, looks like, let's go ahead and push around the right. Yep, there's a guy up top. He's up top. You can hear him sniping. You're behind him. Oh, he just got killed. There should be two more down here. You can hear the footsteps. Guy down low. He made... Oh, he cleans up the kill. Good kill there. You can hear a guy on the right. He's going to be flooding in. 
Boom. Another one. There he is. He's on the brutal. Probably sweating bullets, right? That's what happens. You get super nervous. So you got to be very cautious. Luckily, the only person who's going to get him from behind is a grapple. Because the grapple can come up. Or you can get naded. A random nade. Or a war machine or something like that. Now it's a good time to use this. So the enemies... Oh, damn. They destroyed that really quick with the EMP nade. There's the war machine. Got to watch out. Oh, you got to back off of that. Look at that health. Oh, man, he couldn't even jump up because he would die. Oh, my God, that was nervous. Look at that. He's got to heal again. There's still guys down here. Luckily, he's behind them, and the enemies don't really know what's going on. Got another kill there. Ooh, he's on like a 27, 28. Oh, that, no, that was a nuclear. Damn, that was, that was uh, a little stressful at the end. But nine times out of ten, that's going to happen when you're barely getting nuclears for the first time. And then he dies right there. Um, so I think we'll end it off right there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I had fun going over that nuclear. It was pretty interesting to watch. But it, those things happen to everyone when you're going on that nuclear. So don't be alarmed when those things happen. It's kind of part of the frustration factor. But once you get that first nuke, then you'll get the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. And it continues on if that's something you're actually trying to go for. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to another posting. So if you want your gameplay broken down, make sure you check out the comment section below. Appreciate the support. See you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.